Haim is the type of guy who likes drinking expired milk. You're the type of guy that likes to come up with the weirdest comments. Every time Jaime says, my god, humankind moves closer to salvation, cue in the most probable religious meme that Diego already has whipped up. Thumbnail, when you say too many R's in your name and break yourself. Thumbnail, when you probably should learn a little Spanish. That's right, it's that time of the week. I am Jaime Rivera, this is Pocket Now, and even though I'm pretty much tired and wanting to go to sleep before I get on a flight. Uh, this, these comments just woke me up. This is Pocket Now. That's right, it's that time of the week. I am Jaime Rivera, this is Pocket Now. And this is the Pocket Now Daily Recap, your comments for last week. Even though I'm about to get on a plane, I was falling asleep, this just woke me up. So on Monday, the topic was the completely bezel-less Samsung Galaxy S10 as the rumors point. Uh, there are some patents, there is some technology that would enable this. And I asked you, what would you think about something like that? We had 610 comments. If Samsung can pull off that design, every phone with a notch would want to bury their heads in the sand. 385 likes confirms that. The thing is, the technology is not there. So, you know, it's not like if uh, it took Samsung a little more time to figure that one out. I think the Samsung under display technology is a great direction and will be a definite draw for their devices. I do believe so too. I think Samsung design is getting boring. They need some changes. Of course, bezel-less smartphone is what I want. A beautiful super AMOLED display with no bezels. Just uh, wow, take my money. Just wow, huh? Definitely, uh, sure, why not? It would be awesome so long as they could pull it off and the implementation's good. Then on Tuesday, the Samsung Galaxy X or Galaxy F was teased for the Samsung Developer Conference. I asked you if you're just, I don't know, excited for this uh, foldable product, whatever it is. We had 309 comments. I may apologize for the face that looks the same every day, LOL. I know, right? I wish I could get better. You see this face? Damn, Samsung, give us a software update first rather than a foldable smartphone. <laughs> True that, definitely. That's, I feel, a priority that the company should figure out first. Samsung started the trend of phablet-sized phones with the Note series, so they can pull off this as well. They can, but you have to remember that the Note wasn't necessarily great in its first iteration, so I don't have very many high hopes for this one. Then on Wednesday, the topic were the differences between the three Samsung Galaxy S10 models. Uh, I asked you, what did you think about this strategy? And we had 352 comments. The Samsung A line feels like how the Note line used to be. The guinea pig before it goes elite with the S line. Yes, definitely. But I love that the company's at least giving it a try. And I also love that the mid-range is getting some love. Yeah, I agree with him. Like, I may not want the bigger phone size, but it would suck to settle for a lower quality camera. Yes, definitely. I, again, I just, I would love for three phones to have the same capabilities and you just pick the size you want. Totally agree. Specs should be the same. Otherwise, why call it a premium S line? Definitely. It just blurs the line between the A and the S line. It just, it makes no sense. Totally. Then on Thursday, the topic was the Xiaomi Mi Mix 3. Our own Joshua Vergara was in China covering the event. We had an awesome hands-on. I asked you, what did you think? We had 430 comments. Chinese phone makers are killing it right now in the design department. Killing it, making it, and doing so much more. Totally. Only 10 gigs of RAM. I'll pass on that. I wanted 32. Uh, right, whatever. Mi Mix 3 will kick A if the cams are good. So the camera on the Mi Mix 2S was good. Uh, on the side of almost close to great, wasn't fantastic. There are better phones out there, but uh, you know, for the price tag, I have to remember how much the Mi Mix 3 cost. It's a $500 phone. Um, it was good for the price. And then finally, Friday, the topic was the Samsung Galaxy S10. The reports that there will be no headphone jack on at least one of the models or all of them. And I asked you, what did you think? We had 629 comments and you know those were controversial. Samsung, we knew you were going to take the headphone jack out eventually. Please don't take out the SD card option though. Uh, true. Uh, I, I do feel that, uh, like in my case, I haven't used expandable storage in a while. I would rather a headphone jack and a good amount of storage built in, but uh, I totally get your point. That'll do two things, make headlines and make Samsung look foolish after throwing so much shade on Apple. What's next, notch introduction? Rumors are that we are getting that too. Shh.
Shh. You know what, just give me the dongle and some wireless headphones in the box and I don't really care anymore. Exactly, it's come to the point where Bluetooth headphones aren't really that crazy expensive. There are some premium brands that have crazy price tags above 100 bucks, but then we've got OnePlus charging 70. I mean, why not just charging me 50 extra bucks and giving me a pair of wireless headphones? Totally agree on that one. That's it for the Pocket Now Daily Recap. Thank you so much for watching. If you want your comments to be featured, keep them short, stick to the point, and try to get some thumbs up. It helps us spot them a lot easier. You can also follow us on social media. Subscribe to both our channels, English and Spanish, for more videos like this one. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week.